I gotta, I gotta just focus on this music. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, streets is always gonna be there. Yep. You know, like, uh, you know, certain things that, that is what it is. But um, I just gotta stay focused on music and stay out the way if, in order for me to go where I want to go. Because uh, I'm coming late in the game, you know. So it's like. Mm -hmm. That's why I've really been moving the way I'm moving, because it's like, if I want to make this happen, I got to make that shit happen, like, now. Showtime. All right. All right, man. Hey, man. Hey. Island Mogul. We all win podcast yes, episode sir. number two. We coming live, man. Hey, we got a special one for y'all. But before we even get into the details, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, man. Take care of it, bro. Yeah, man. We got a shout out. Joe and Usin Co. for sponsoring our very first sponsored episode. It's very special. We got D-Boy in the building. So for him, we had a shout out. Joe for shout giving us love. We got hella merch coming out. You see it. You see the drip, man. If you guys didn't know, Usin Co. has been around for a minute. And uh, they got a spot out there in South Bay. Uh, South Bay, what was it? South Bay Galleria Mall. South Bay Galleria Mall. Out there, Redondo Beach. And uh, they're doing it big out there so you know shout out to them they're repping for the culture and look dope doing it so support them you know let's go love, let's man. go shout out to our people at Usman Co man it's love yes sir hey man we got a we got a special one man it, the street's been demanding us for a minute to get this guy on here man <laughs> uh, I've been feeling no pressure for a minute to make this one happen so we had to make it happen yes you know we did yeah, man. we had it we had to bring this special person on man our second episode to kick it off um you the know, general. He come from a legendary, legendary background, legendary family. Come yes, on, sir. But on top of that, bro, has been making his own lane, making his own name. That's right. And within just a few years of time, man, bro's really been pushing this shit forward yes. in such a way that, you know, you can't help but pay attention. Facts. New project is out. Mm. New. The new Samoan Mafia Straight is like out. That. Samoan hey, Mafia. The That's that new Samoan crazy, Mafia. Man. Coming straight out of Carson, California. Yes, sir. Our brother D Boy, man. D Boy 223 in the building. Straight like that, man. Yeah. 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 How you feeling, brother? I'm feeling cool after that little shot we just took. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had to. We might have to run that back pretty soon. Yeah, okay. hey, sir. Don Julio, we need the sponsorship. <laughs> I need Don to be Julio. sponsored right. by now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody needs a sponsorship. Yeah, bro. <laughs> nah, it's love, but I appreciate you for pulling up on us, man. It's, nah, it's yeah, all man. love, man. It's yeah. all love. I see y'all doing y'all thing and shit, man. Yeah, That's likewise, what's up. Brother, likewise, man. We yeah. we big fans of what you're doing, man, and uh, just the direction you're headed in, man. It's, it only makes sense for us to have this, this sit down, so... Um, You've been you've been making a, a, a quite an impact in such a short amount of time, man. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking at just the trajectory of your career. Like I know you've been, you've been only doing music for just about two years, right? Or a little under, or a little over, somewhere around there. I dropped Respected for Life a year ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like that's when I mean, that's when I really started, you know, trying to push my shit. But yeah, mm -hmm. like so, year and some change. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, I the first song that I I uh, I looked I was going through the, through your discography man it, I was like damn bro this shit ain't even that long but it feel when I hear you it feels like you've been rapping for yeah. a minute yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying I mean and, like I've been rapping no, it just no. ain't been a rap it just like, ain't been in the mood yeah, you know yeah yeah, yeah so well, yeah <laughs> hell yeah well we, we, we definitely yeah. want to dive into your your background as an artist um, your upbringing but we we'd we like to start things on a lighter note man and yeah. kind of. Kind of get get things rolling on, on the lighter tip. So flowing, my bro got some questions, man. He gonna run through you. Put them on, quick, put so we got on. we got uh what ninety seconds. Yeah, <laughs> Y'all putting me on the spot right yeah, now. Just, just, just a little, little fun. Yeah, but okay. you know, miss one. Nah, it's good. I'm playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing crazy. Ain't nothing. Pass me a shot. Ninety seconds. Whatever is on top of the head, just spit that out real quick. Yeah. All right. So all right, take right, it over. Who gonna who gonna hold my time for me? I got you. Okay. Bet. Bet. I'm gonna uh start off with go. Best pickup line. Oh shit! He was not expecting that one. <laughs> I ain't got no pickle line. <laughs> you ain't got no pickle line. You just pull no, up man, and that's it. My name is D Boy. That's it. They see it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> they see it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's your favorite hood movie? Uh, Blood In, Blood Out. Ooh, that's a good one. Most locals, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite sport to play or watch on TV? Uh, football. football. Come on. Uh, do you prefer to travel plane, train, or car? Playing, I'm trying to get there ASAP. Okay. Yeah, right. okay. like PJ. No heights. Uh, Winkle was scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite athlete? Palomalu. Ooh. Hey. I'll three. give you that one. That's right. That's, well, right. Did, that's the one. Four that's three. the one most of us. Oh, shit. Ooh. 
I dropped the thing. That's my yeah. fault. But we're gonna keep it going. Uh, <laughs> where's fear? Uh, I don't know. Drowning in the ocean or something. <laughs> That's mine. Yeah. Being out, yeah, way being out in the ocean. Ocean. Don't know what's underneath. No help. I don't know. Mm. That's right. If you could end the, if you could have an endless supply of food, what would it be? Sushi. Ooh. Mm. What was your, uh, what was, what was your least favorite chore growing up? Doing the dishes. I hate doing yeah. the dishes, but I'ma do them. <laughs> Mom said we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Yeah. What's your favorite uh family tradition? Mm. Konai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's weekend, that Sunday, that Sunday meal. Yes, sir. Dinner with my family. Uh, hey, once you get to that point when you're drinking, man, what do you listen to? Small music or oldies? I prefer oldies. That's right. That's I right. Uh-huh. Tip. Smooth tip. Uh, are you a morning or a night person? Night person. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. what do you believe is your best attribute? My last question. Uh, damn, that was a good one. Uh, just getting to it, man. Uh, just making it happen. You know, once I once I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's right. Bro. Hey, man, clap it up, man. Yeah, clap it up, bro. Man. Right. Hey, man, you you know, all right. All right. Take a shot with y'all. Come on, <laughs> come on, take that one. Shout it up. Yeah. Hey, uh, shout out to Don Julio for uh, football. Though. Yeah. Don so Julio, did you play we really football? do need you help us out. Yeah, I play football. Come on, what you football? What you play? I was at. I was playing uh on the O line. I was playing tackle. O line? Yeah. You was a little bit bigger than this, cause nah. you you. I mean, oh, and you know, in high school, no, I was pretty. I was fat in high school. Okay. Yeah. yeah I was chunky. But was eating right. <laughs> no. Nope. So, I told you. I'm like six two, six three. But uh, how old are you, bro? I'm 27. Okay, you around there? Yeah, yeah. I'm 27. Yeah, there you go. Shit, man. Well, um. My birthday next week. Ooh, oh shit! Man. What's that? What's that make so you? I, 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 I was telling, I was telling Wick like we had to do this before I go to Vegas this weekend because oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn it up. Real oh, okay. Hey, was that a cancer? So it's birthday cancer game. Ooh, cancer game. Yeah, that's my moon. That's my moon. I mean, I ain't gonna try getting that cancer game in there. Okay. <laughs> hey man. Is it the cancers? We got a lot of shit to talk about with uh, with D Boy. We're, we're just excited to have you on on, on the show, man. Um, first things first. The new Samoan Mafia Oof. project is out. Your first yes. full body of work, because up to this point, you've just been singles, right? Um, all singles. All singles. It's my man. first, uh, you know, my first mixtape I ever dropped. Hell yeah. yeah. How, how does it, I mean, bro, I'm, I'm looking around at social media, at just people, I'm hearing the music being played, bro, like, the love is real. Like, you're getting a lot of love off this project. Mm. I know you put a lot into this project. Yeah. Um, how does yeah. it feel to get the reception that you've received up to this point? Uh... Man, you know what? It feels good. I ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, you know, it feels great just to see like me putting all this work over all this time because it it didn't this mixtape just didn't happen within like a couple weeks or something. You know, mm-hmm. um, it, it was it took a little time and, and it took it was a little process. So you know, I'm learning as I go. So for me to drop my first one and for me to really pour my heart out into something like this, it just kind of like and ev- and then seeing every the reaction and 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 how everybody's Messing with it, you know, it, it feel good. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I'm like, damn, you know, that's tight. Yeah, it's, it, you know, that's more motivation for me to keep on going. Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. We was looking at the project. I mean, this guy put out some things that the lovers can listen to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, anybody who wants to be, you know, go out have a fun time party. He got something for them, and then he got something for the killers too. You know what I'm saying? Got <laughs> we got a little bit of everything. Yeah. So he's very versatile with this one. You got a lot of people on the project. We had Wicked the first episode. He was. Very big on you know supporting the movement, supporting the uh, the new mafia drop, and bro, I'm just we wanted to talk about a little bit about why with the people that you have, you, you had somebody come out of retirement for you, bro. Yeah, go ahead and talk about that, Shane. Yeah. Like, look. He, he had he had he had baby down come, come out on, of, bro. Out of, out of, he had baby down come out of, out of retirement to dust the mic off and jump on there for it, people. That's love. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, uh, shout down. out to baby down, man. Um, um, at at first, cause um. His son is Wyatt Fanny that's on, on my... Uh, yeah. Shout out to Wyatt Fanny. You know, yeah, yeah, so uh, at first I was going to have him do it, but you know, the the, the things that I was talking talking about on the wake-up call, you know, it's kind of deep, you know? I kind of dug I kind of dug in, in, in on that one, and uh, I was really thinking about who I should have on the hook, so I was like, uh, 
you know, I, I, I had asked why if any, you know, like, hey, man, just see what Pops would say. Mm-hmm. To see if he, you know, yeah. I, I was just yeah. reaching because yeah. you know I was like, man, I'm not too sure, but you yeah. know what, I'm Take gonna ask anyway. Yeah. You know, that's you know that's yep. still my my BG. You know, that's my you know my my people's. But it's like, you know, for him to come out of retirement, you know, come lay that down for me, that shit meant a lot. I was like, yeah, and he killed it. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, it it, 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 it was cool. That's it was dope, cool. Man. Did you have like people in your uh, on the project that you like? It was like strategic move for you, or like you you just had to reciprocate the love from them? Uh. Like the people that I had on there, you know, I I chose them. You know, yeah. like um, I felt like for each song that I put out and where I put them at, but, you know, I probably had to listen to my my verses like a thousand times before I figure out where I'm gonna put what mm. and do what with who. So um, yeah, man, shout out to everybody that was on there. They did yeah. their thing. Hell they yeah. really did their thing on yeah, there. Hey, just like the significance. I don't if people haven't. If people aren't hip to our culture, bro, this is a very significant project, even the feature you mentioned, yes. because yep. we all grew up listening to Brownsville, yep. Booyah Tribe, and mm-hmm. then to have you as a extension of that that heritage, bro, to bring it all together. Right. Nigga, that's that's crazy. Wow. Like, yeah. like so like like culturally you have you have just a a, a strong influence. Um and it's crazy because we were talking about this off camera, but mm-hmm. you know you've been only doing music for a fairly short amount of time. But mm-hmm. just your reception into the game, like niggas have really embraced you as an artist, and and I feel like it's not based off of who you are attached to. It's really just you as an artist. Like right. niggas is like really embracing you. Like like why do you think your impact in the game has been felt so strong so early in your career? Because I'm just really authentic with this shit, bro. Like um. I'm just being myself, and I think that people dig that, you know? Mm. Like, uh, I'm not portraying to be super hard. I mean, you know, I am a gangster, and that's what's going to come with it, but uh, I, I was in the streets before the music, so right. if if you don't have no credibility to back that up and what you're talking about, then, you know, a lot of people are not going to really rock with you like that. Mm. Right. So, um, you know, I spent a lot of my time in the streets before I was doing this music, so I, when I started doing my music, people... People seen that. People know that. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm just myself at all times, you know, on and off the camera. Uh, I'm not here to yeah. portray nothing else. And I think people are just like, man, this dude love down to earth. And, you know, that's all I could be, really. Yeah. No, I, I feel like, you know, a lot of the, when I look up D-Boy 223 on I, you 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 were very active with, like, people, like, you had, like, someone, like, come up to you. You was giving them Samoan food. It was a snack. Oh yeah, oh, the China, China, yeah, China Mac, Mac. China Mac. Like, China, China, Mac. China Mac, you know China what I'm Mac saying? East. Like you had you had, through, had, you had people spirit. anytime they was touching into the city, you know, they had a, they was going through D-Boy cuz D-Boy yeah. was showing them out. So it was it was just like that opening uh, to know who you were. Like you you just, you know, very transparent with it and it's part of the, your upbringing and that's kind of like what we want to dive into because you know, you come from a heavy heavy music background. Right. And to see where you're at now so tapped in with the streets, it's like man, like you had the yin and yang of like, you know, the streets and the music. And so for us, it's like, damn, like, you know, you chose your, 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 your I feel like you chose the streets in in a way just to, to balance it out. So I I feel like, you know, with the 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 upbringing you had with the music and all, all the OGs that you had around you, like, what was it that made you feel like, nah, I, I feel like I need to tap into the streets more and then I'll get into music later? Just because I was influenced, you know, mm-hmm. like, um, I fell in love with the gang, the gang culture. Mm. Before, you know, like I always loved uh, hearing my uncles and all that shit, you know, yeah. with their uh, music. But uh, the gang life fascinated me. Mm. So growing up, that's all I already had that implanted in my head. Like that's what I wanted to be yeah. before I even thought about music. Because uh, I, when I first like try to rap, I was just like, oh, I think I could do this, you know. Right. So it's like. I never always knew that I had that I had this in me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And, until a little later on, where I was like, man, you know what? I think I could put some raps together. I could put some rhymes together. But um, yeah, I was always fascinated with the gang shit, and uh, that's why I took. That's why I wanted to, you know, wanted to do. Yeah, I feel like uh, most of us growing up. You're 27. I'm 31. We kind of have the same upbringing, where you know, our our older generation, they they kind of like. <laughs> 
they were the ones who set the tone in the streets. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As the 80s and 90s gang gang affiliation was like that was treacherous. You know what I mean? That was death. That was life. All that sh- shit was like real back in the day. And then us as the next ones coming and seeing all that, you know, we got influ- influence in, in in certain you know, ways. And for us, for me, I I took it as I had a person, my little brother, who talked to me like, nah, this is not for you, bro. You should stick to football. So I, I kind of like focus on football. Did you have people in your ear like that growing up? Yeah, or like all my my family, like uh, <clears throat> no no nobody wanted me to gang bang, you know. Right. But you know, it's that that was uh already embedded in my head. Like yeah. that once I said this is what I wanted to do, it, it was just like it was too late. Like um, you know, I had all kinds of talks from everybody. You know, you know, I shit from everybody. Nice. They didn't want. They didn't want. They didn't want this life for me. But uh, I just took it and ran with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. So, and then, especially with the rap and the music stuff, like, who was it that kind of like you were around that kind of like helped you build that confidence in yourself? That like, oh shit, no, I can say something and really mean it because no one people see me. You know uh, what I'm doing. I now I can talk about it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, man. You know, like uh, a lot of my, a lot of my, my family did music. Wicked did music. You know, me seeing them do their thing. Mm. Even like uh, even with Wick, like that Wick was on his shit. Yeah. And I was just like, damn, you know, that's tight. Like, yeah. I, man, he he, Wick Wick Wicked motivated me first. You know. Yeah. So y'all family? Nah, we not family, but we family. If you get what I mean. Yep. Like, that's yep. my brother right yeah, there. Definitely. You know? yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we we locked in. Yes, yeah, sir. Definitely. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so like when I'm looking at your just like your your introduction to the game, you, you talked about your, you know, you spent a lot of time in your early years with the streets, and then making that transition into music. Do you feel like right now as an artist that you're trying to have to, like, where do you see yourself as an artist? I mean, because like when you're in the streets, you in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You deep into mm-hmm. that shit. Now you're now you're transitioning into artist mode. I gotta I gotta I gotta just focus on this music, mm-hmm. like uh. Streets is always gonna be there, yep. you know. Like uh, you know, certain things that that is what it is. But um, I just gotta stay focused on music and stay out the way for, in order for me to go where I want to go. Because uh, I'm coming late in the game, you know. So it's like mm-hmm. that's why I've really been moving the way I'm moving. Because it's like if I want to make this happen, I gotta make that shit happen like now. Yeah, you know. And there ain't no, ain't no, ain't no waiting. I got, I ain't got no time to play. Cause mm-hmm. you know, it's only that little opening of a window that, that you got once you get this chance and once you get it, you gotta get it and go and run with it. So uh that's what I'm doing right now. Mm. Trying to run with it and <laughs> out of here. <laughs> out of here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure. know? Hell yeah. I mean yeah. you 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 are kinda coming in with a like you say you, you kinda feel like you got a late start to this shit. So you like the, your foot is on the gas. Like yeah. I gotta yeah. take this shit. I gotta, to I gotta catch up. Yeah. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta uh bail through, you know? So yeah. uh yeah, that's basically it right there. I mean aside from Feeling like, feeling like you're behind. What what other things on the music side of things inspires you as an artist to like, you know, really go hard? Because I mean, obviously you come, so you come from anybody don't know if you've been sleeping under a rock. You know, D Boy comes from you know the, the family uh, pops is Cobra, who's attached mm-hmm. to Who Your Tribe, Who Your Tribe. Le- legendary rap group. Yeah. I feel like you know a lot of our listeners they may not be from the culture, so mm-hmm. we got to spend just a few minutes. Just what, kinda... what you saying like what keeps me going? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just like man, if you really think about it, it's like. Um, Somebody could have, be having whatever type of day that they're having in life, but they're going to take some time out of the day or whatever and put me on and play and hear what I got to say. Mm. And they could be going through whatever or, you know, whatever, and then you could change that mood. So if you really think about that, man, that's like, it's kind of like, that's kind of like magic, you know? Yep. Yeah. You know, you get know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's yep. big. You know, you'd be going through whatever in life and then that person going to take, Whatever they gotta do out their day and play you, mm. that makes me that makes me go. It's like that's what's up. Yeah, you know, I, I actually going into that, you know, we were just talking about the the vicious, um, the Samoa Mafia, the vicious drop that you had. You had shout out little Nipsey Hustle, little bar that you had. Um, I feel like you know, with where you're at in life, like you see someone like Nipsey, like and his touch on the on the city. Like, do you feel like there's certain ways that you want to like? You know, portray certain things about your culture, the legacy that you come from, that has that kind of impact, like Nipsey had. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Like you know, uh, you know, Nip was great at what he was doing. Mm. So, um, 
But then again, he was just being himself and doing what he, you know, doing what he felt was right. So that's the that's the same kind of path that I'm trying to take, mm -hmm. just to believe in myself and do what I feel is right. Yeah. You know, um, I can't say that I want to act like or do what the next person is doing. I want to do what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, Fact. worry about yourself. You know, I'm not really worried about the next person what they yeah. got going. On. I mean, you know, much love to everybody, but I'm yeah. just more focused and locked in on what I got to do. Right. You know, yeah. what, what you know, moving forward. Yep. I think I think that really, if you listen to D Boy's music, especially this new project, wait, everything you're saying, it matches with the music because I, I I listened to a recent interview. You talked about how like when you first came into the game, you said niggas, especially on the West, being from LA, niggas sound a lot of niggas want to sound like Detroit or sound like mm -hmm. New York or sound like yeah. Atlanta, but like we from the land where a lot of artists, you know, like the origination of gangster West Coast rap music, and when I listen to you. Yes. I get the same nostalgic feeling that I get to listen to Snoop Dogg or Doc Pound yeah, or, a yeah. Snoop, or Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. why was it, for you as an artist, why was it important for you to come into the game and like attack music from that standpoint? Because I wasn't going, I wasn't going to start my music trying to sound like somebody else. Like, this is, this is all that, that I've been knowing and this is what I like to listen to. This mm -hmm. is what I like to vibe out to and bang to. Like, yeah. I'm okay. not going to go listen to, I mean, you know, no disrespect, but I'm not going to go and here Chicago and then or whatever and then go and try to sound like them when we have our own sound. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all just uh y'all just trying to follow suit like man, you what y'all forgot where we came from or something? Like, come on, man. But you know, I'm not knocking nobody for doing what they do. Y'all gonna yeah. do what y'all do, but just me personally, uh, you know, I'm not gonna go that way. Mm -hmm. You know? I think that's the beautiful thing about rap is like there's so many lanes, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Pick a lane and, and just do your shit. Cause I feel like a lot of people. They feel like they gotta do five, six different lanes. I'm like, bro, pick a lane that's yeah, true to you. Stay in your yeah. lane. Stay in your lane. Like, stay in your lane. Like, that's the lane you came from that you grew up. I mean, you grew up, grew up listening, being around Booyah Tribe and and Dog Pound, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. If that shit really hits from you, then express yourself that way. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? And that shit, that shit's really hit. I think I personally feel like that's why your music is really hitting. It is. Because in a in a in a in a time where music yeah. is so I don't know, I, I don't want to use the word watered down, but being from LA, the sound from LA is it's kind of rare to hear that. Authentic LA sound. Right. Yeah. So when you coming cool. out, when you coming out with the with the production that sounds like the beats that we used to hearing, and you talking about the shit that we used to hearing, the visuals, everything, bro. Everything. It's West Coast to the T. So yeah, yeah your like, visuals is yeah. crazy, bro. That shit is, is crazy. Oh, hey, your visuals, yeah. hey, the 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 uh, what was the uh, Mr. Whoop. Miss, the the Miss Wu was crazy. Miss Wu was crazy. crazy. Oh, I was talking about the one we was in the street, though. Oh, what's oh, that? Hey, man. 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 Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's dope when the artist like really shows where he coming from. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, that's so yeah. that was dope. Yeah, yeah that's dope. Bro, when so, you, authentic is what we were just talking yeah. about. Authentic, it was mm -hmm, real man, authentic. Appreciate bro. those. But you know, like, how do you see yourself growing as an artist? Just uh, you know, just trying to be open minded to different things. You know, uh, doing different. Uh, having different content and, and and you know just doing different stuff. Uh, and uh, showing people every angle of me, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, letting them uh, get to know me, you know, but at the same time, feel my music. Yeah. See, he, they could get to know me, but them in my music, right? Like, then you know, it, that's not gonna work out. You gotta yeah. be, you gotta be level. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, like what you just said is important because, like, if the music, like a lot of artists these days. They rely on a crazy wild shit to get their music popping. If the music isn't good, then they gotta resort to all these wild, crazy shit to to compensate. Yeah. yeah. But like what I get from you and, and what I'm hearing in the music is like the music is solid, is 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 A1. Mm -hmm. So all I gotta do is just they, let... they they could do all that crazy shit, but it's like that'll only take you so far, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you you gonna keep on doing all that until you know you get yourself in trouble or something, but uh Long as you know, I feel like you just be authentic with your stuff. You do what you're supposed to do, and you do it the right way. And then people are gonna fuck with you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
So right now with all the, the different type of music out there right now, what 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 is a uh, what's D boy listening to right now, man? What's getting you going? Like, do you listen to classic music? Do you listen to rock? What's what kind of music is D boy listening to? I be listening to everything, man. I yeah. mean, I, I like hip hop. I love oldies, man. Country coming up. Uh, <laughs> I listen to some country. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Some reggae up in here for sure, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, R and B. Yeah, you know, it, it ain't always got to be gangster, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. You, you know? ain't a gangster if you ain't listen to Otis. You know what I mean? It's one up there. You ain't a gangster if you ain't listen to Otis. You gotta things, play Otis, bro. You gotta, yeah. you gotta have it's with that. the blood in and blood out reference, bro. Yeah. There was Otis. Yeah, Otis, Otis, Otis is <laughs> like a, you know, like a gangster's therapy, no, you know? For sure. Or, you know, not just a, it's for everybody, though, but, everybody, you know. Bro. That's how it is. You know, there's, there's a reason why we're into Lolos. You know what I mean? There's a reason yeah. why we're into Otis. You know yeah. I, mean? I don't care how gangster you is. If you hear Isley Brothers between the sheets, man, they're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nate Dogg was ghetto yeah. opera. Yeah. Who the real yeah, hustler yeah. now? Hey, you know man. Exactly, like, yeah. Hey, yeah. In, in, in the sheet, like, you know, Nate Dogg was one of those sounds, bro. We got Samoan sound is different, bro. You know, especially your rap, like, your voice is so different. It's so, like, crispy to the LA streets. You know, when I hear your voice, it's like, oh, that's LA sound, you know? And it's dope to to see that uh you know the impact you have with music, man. So it's 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 a dope feeling when you see legacy just start working its way around, bro. You got any, you don't got kids? No kids. Yeah. Don't keep it that way. Take your time, bro. Take that. your time, bro. <laughs> nah, shout out to the kids. Yeah, man. Father's Day came out, bro. What you do for Father's Day, yeah. man? For the OG. Oh man, we was just we just had a little barbecue that day. We was drinking and stuff. It was be, cool. You be barbecuing, you be behind the grill, or you just be chilling? I'll be chilling here and there. I, I, know, I, I, know, I know how to get down. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. So in the Samoan culture, man, the men mostly do the cooking because, you know, the umus and stuff, it'd it be hard work, and the women take forever to cook. That's the yeah. little joke that we have. <laughs> what, what's yeah. D-Boy cooking, bro? What you, you be on the chef? Boy. Man, I, know how to make, I know how to make different things. I don't even know how to make, like, some Filipino food. Oh, you know? oh I know how to make you know? What are you putting on the Filipino I, side, I, man? You know, I don't know. My mom used to cook that growing up. She's oh, not even shit. Filipino, so I don't know how they got it. You know, whatever things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's better, man. Hey, watch out, man. You, you single? You single? No, I ain't saying. Uh, hey, okay, man. okay. Never mind. Uh, we're just gonna <laughs> make sure. Like, he, at least he knows how to cook. Beep. Yeah, but okay. So on, on that note, bro, if somebody pulls up to your city, Carson, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get a good bite to eat, man. Where are you taking them, bro? What was the first place you gonna you gonna put them on? I mean, before they took it out, they used to have the uh, teriyaki factory right there. Then they moved that out, so that's not even there no more. That was the best teriyaki in the city, but uh. Mm. I mean, uh, shit. I mean, it depends. Like, what you want? I'm take y'all to Tom's right there by Scottsdale, mm, and y'all gonna Tom's. have that chili cheese fries. Hey, you know, the Tom's, man. With the pastrami. I mean, everybody, you know, they got their own what they feel is their bur- yeah. best burger stand. But I, I feel ain't nobody messing with Tom's chili cheese yeah, fries. No, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. You no, know, I love yeah, we, the Tom's. We got to put that one to the test, man, because we got yeah. ta- we got Tam. I actually on this uh, side, on this there's side. supposed to be yeah. a part two with China Mac, and uh, I took him over there to have some of that too. Okay. So you know, it's gonna be okay. cool. Back, I never had that before. Hey, I mean, he's from the East Coast, so yeah. Is there I, don't think, I don't know if they really had that shit over there. Is there anything the from East? Carson? Was it Carson? Carson? I, I love Carson. There's one thing I have to go to Carson for every year. It's a Hawaiian cake. Uh, the King's Hawaiian. Mm. It's in the bakery. It's in Carson, bro. That shit is fire. Uh. Ooh, yeah, bro. Uh, Car- I mean, Carson itself is a is a legendary city for many reasons: sports, uh, mm. music. Yeah. Um, it, there's a there's a strong background of a lot of great people coming out of Carson. Um, but, you know, there's also, you know, some some troubling aspects of Carson, too. It's a, it's a mixture of both. But yeah. Carson's one of those cities where if you're from Carson or you know people from Carson, there's a lot of pride in, in that city. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. What was it like sure. growing up in Carson? You just, you know, a lot of our people. Yeah. A lot of our people. So it's like, you know, you just, just, just rocking with your people all day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was fun though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I had a lot of fun doing a lot of bad things, and <laughs> uh, it was cool. It was cool. But it was, it was things a... were always going on. Something's always going on in Carson. Yeah. I mean, it kind of changed over time, you know. But uh, growing up, it was popping. Were you well, pulling up to something on Flag Day? Yeah, I was pulling up back to Flag in the day. day. <laughs> <laughs> we always we all pulled up to something on Flag Day, man. <laughs> For sure, I was pulling yeah. up to Flag Day. Even Flag Day ain't the same no more. It ain't, bro. Mm. But, not, uh, they need to get that pop. They need to get that back popping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it used to be. It used to be lit over there. Yeah, yeah we get one of these things. Come yeah. on with it. Yeah. 
I feel like when it comes to Carson, there's so much that comes with it. But like, since you talk about childhood and st stuff like that, let's go into the. Oh, I feel like you know, there's some there's some stories that you have with your pops that, that no one really knows about, bro. Yeah. So give us a little <laughs> something about the pops, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Memory, give us, man as a kid. Cause look, I you, mean, like, you grew around the family, memory, like, you know, like on some <laughs> you, music, you no music shit or videos. Yeah. <laughs> you oh. you ain't find nobody. Come on, man. The funniest encounter you ever had. Come on, your pops had to have you around some crazy stuff. You're like, damn. I mean, uh, when they was really like live in their stuff, I was I was still a baby. I was That's still right. a little baby. My my older first cousins got to be in all the videos and stuff. So when I got older, I was like, damn, y'all lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You got me. Yeah, y'all lucky. You know, yeah. but they they're like the first born. You know, I, I'm I'm like, there's a lot of grandchildren. There's like almost 20, 20 plus grandchildren in my family. Mm -hmm. So um, uh it was lit though. I mean, like, it was cool. I saw your pops. Who does he feel like you was closer to? I saw your pops uh, out of the the Booyah tribe. What you mean? Like like uh, you know there was man there was so many energies. All of them were like uh, their oh, own. Like who was I? Man, I was close with all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me and all my all my first cousins, like, it, we was close with all of them. Is there anything like they they that the uncles had told you like that that you just remember like man I'm gonna keep this and this is gonna be one of those things I cherish. I'm gonna oh, yeah. by that. Uh, from all of them, from all of them. Uh. You know, some of them not here no more, but yeah, for sure. Rest in peace, rest in yeah. peace. For sure. Uh, yeah, you know, like even the way I carry myself these days, I carry it from things that they've told me. Mm. You know, that shit's embedded in me. Right. So, um, yeah, no, for sure. A lot of things that they say, I I, I moved the way I move uh, to this day off of what they what they taught me or, or you know, instilled in me. Mm. So, yeah. When, when you're growing up, I mean, obviously, you know, you were a little bit young. You were pretty young when when they were at the at the peak, but just in your younger years, did you, you know, like a lot of people that come from legendary backgrounds when they're young, they don't realize it in a moment that mm -hmm. hey man, my pops or my uncles, they legends. They, right. they just see him. That's my pops. That's my uncle. But when you're young, did did you see him how we seen him? Or oh you, yeah, yeah, I seen it. Yeah. Don't 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 get that wrong. Yeah. I I I knew. I was like oh yeah. oh they they somebody. You yeah. know like yeah. you know they, you know it just because everywhere that. We would go somewhere or whatever, and somebody always like, "Oh, are you what you will be?" You know, I used to catch them like, "Oh, damn, okay, y'all popping, yeah, hmm. <laughs> y'all, y'all, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah." Hey, uh, uh, piggybacking off of like Asian stuff, uh, off of your, uh, off of your album work. Hey, how, how old were you in that, uh, in that photo? I was probably like, uh, uh, I think I was like three, three or four. Somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. That's one of the pictures. You, you you know you go through the you go through the album books. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. You you no one else got this damn picture. You know See, it's hella crazy because I remember uh, I think my, my little sister somebody it, it it was through a little album book and mm -hmm. she sent me a uh, she sent me a a picture of it and I was just seen I was looking at it and I was just like damn I'm gonna use this shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't gonna lie. I got a lot. I got a lot of little gangster pictures of me. You know? <laughs> I got a lot. No, for that's sure, tough, man. That's yeah, hard, bro. yeah. A lot of people was uh, uh, t you know, hitting me about the cover art. A lot, of, a lot of my cover art is dope, you know. Yeah. Mm. But uh, no, for sure, like uh, the cover arts and all the stuff that y'all see me post is like uh, it's kind of like a theme. Mm. You yeah. kind of see, see if you kind of look at all my cover arts. Yeah. You know, just really pay attention to little details that I'm doing. You know, I'm just it's, it's a theme that I got going on. So uh, yeah. Yeah. My, uh, who who does your cover? Are you, are you the one doing it? Huh? Are you the one doing it? No, nah, it's my it's my brother. My brother do it. Okay. Oh, you, know, you know, one of my boys do it. He, you know, he be he be doing all my stuff for me. That's right. That's right. So, uh, shout out to Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Uh -huh. Shout out to Black Sheep. Yeah, the album work was crazy with the black bandana material in the back. Yeah. yeah. With the photo over it, that mm -hmm. shit was hard. As a uh, so, are you are you signed or independent? What's your what's your music situation? Nah, I'm I'm independent. Strictly been, independent. I've been doing all this. I've been doing. Like when I first started doing everything or doing uh, my thing, I'd be doing everything on my own. You mm -hmm. know, uh, shit wasn't, you know, it, it's not too easy, you know, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to invest in myself. Right. I, I want to, I want to piggyback off that because there's a, I mean, probably 90% of poly artists are independent, right? We, right. we're just so new into the game where we don't have the financial backing. We don't have record labels. Or the knowledge, or or, or or knowledge, but like a lot of poly artists are independent. They they out the trunk with it, they yeah. off the curb with it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a tough grind for our people 
to really get the music out there. And that's kind of why we as a platform started because we're like, damn, we see the talent. We just don't have the platforms. Right. right. But could you could you just kind of speak on like um like the struggles of an independent artist? You mm-hmm. know, like some of the challenges that you're faced with as you try to promote your music, as you try to build your brand. It's just uh putting in the time and work, you know, like you gotta come out your pockets, you gotta pay for these videos, you gotta set these up, you gotta get mm-hmm. these together. You have your videos, you got to go buy this, do that. You know, it's a lot, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and you're not going to eat off of it mm-hmm. in the beginning. You're not going to make no bread, you know, so you're just like taking a little dive and sacrifice to figure out if you're going to, you know, you might take a loss with this. Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of like a kind of like a gamble, you mm-hmm. know, you kind of like uh, gambling to see if this is what you want to do or um or, you know, you're kind of experimenting when you first start, you know? Right. right. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's just putting time in, just putting time at work. That's that's basically it. I mean, that was my struggle, it was just, just time, the time consuming, right. uh, you know, the these, 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 these studio sessions, especially the people that I want to work with, mm. they're not cheap, you know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's not like I'm doing all, like they're just, I got, studio all damn day you know like nah right. you got to come out the pocket for that so uh, yeah. yeah that's basically it how would you feel when it comes to the uh your movement it, it, you say it's a gamble but mo- you know when it comes to a gamble it's calculated you know it's calculated yeah. moves and so for you how do you feel like you're you're able to like have that confidence in the moves that you're making when it comes to being an independent artist because uh didn't me personally like before I make the next move, I'm like I'm like a real deep thinker. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like um, I would think about some like a thousand times before I even move. So it's like I'd make sure that I know what I'm doing before I do it. Right. And, you know, I hope everybody gonna really think about how they gonna do something before they do it. You right. know, with anything. But uh, yeah. We always talk about it when it comes to like how how we. I mean, we're 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 a freshly new uh, brand, you know, uh, organization, whatever you want to call it. Hey, y'all been moving though. Y'all been moving though. Man. I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, I like the way y'all been moving and stuff, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. It, yeah. It, and I feel like, it, in 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 a, in a sense, it's been our connections that we have, you know, with the people that we 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 had some, you know, we tapped into, we collabed, and it's kind of like a little full circle when it comes to collabs and things like that. Uh, on that sense, when it comes to you, I feel like, man, it's a full circle because how you've been in the street, it's like everybody reciprocating that love because how real you've been. So how has it been like being a new artist, seeing the love? I know we had we asked the question a little bit more, but do you feel like your music, what, what you have coming out because so much or so many people, so much attention is tapped into you, focused on you. Do you feel like you have a certain way that you want to move your music now? Or do you like have a, 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 a little, little, you know, because you have a little bit more tapped in with the streets, you, you have a little, you have a voice when it comes to your music. Like, do you feel like you, there's a sense of urgency and a sense of like reciprocating uh, love back to those people? Like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be for. I'm gonna have something for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not just gonna be okay. I'm from the streets and I gotta keep doing shit for the streets. Like, nah, mm-hmm. I gotta be real versatile. Mm-hmm the way that I move now. So it's like, I'm always going to have something for the streets. Right. So, yeah. But then I got to have something for them, for right. y'all, them, you know, like yeah. it, you just can't be tapped in with one thing. Like that's really closing your, uh, you know, that's really close, really closing your, your, your path. So mm. it's like, um, now you got to be open to everything. You know, you can't just focus on one, on one subject. And it's just like saying you got to have, um, seven different incomes to, to, mm. you know, be rich. Yeah. Right. So it's like you got to make sure that you have, you know, different avenues that you could go to. Yeah, right. that's big. The project uh, itself, I mean, is versatile. There's there's a lot of songs on there that got different vibes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. As I as I look back, you know, I was going through the discography trying to find, you know, songs that earlier earlier in your career. I know you did a song with Young Down, right? Or yeah. One, the first song you ever recorded. Yeah. Right? In his, in his living room, right? In his living room. <laughs> <laughs> right you, in his living room. Yeah. Can, you, can you talk about like what that experience, um, y'all can go back and listen. What, what's the name of the song? That shit was hard. Uh, uh, think It Over. Think It Over, yeah, with Young Down. Yep, yep. Yep, so uh, bro, I'm listening to it though, and I'm like, ain't no way this is Broder's first song. I know you've been writing before, but I'm listening, I'm like, there's no way that this is his first song, but just the first time you touched the mic till now, like, 
what did that moment mean for you in your career? Like, what did it do to you? What did it, Damn, that question. that sparked it for me. Why uh, when I why when uh why when we did it and I and even before we dropped it, I like just like I said, I play a song like a thousand times to really mm -hmm. hear myself and yeah. what I can fix and shit like that. But uh, when I heard it, I was just like. Man, that shit really tight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, Hold on. Oh, yeah. like, dang, you know, like, okay, you tight. Yeah. I was really feeling it. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. It's like, so then when I was thinking, I was like, man, it, it ain't going to be no way that y'all not going to feel this. Like, you mm. know, y'all going, y'all going, yeah, whoever that even hate them, whatever, like, y'all know that shit hard. So yeah. it's just like, that for me kind of set the tone, like, you know what? Yeah. Mm. What else can I do? You know, like mm. what else can I keep on making bangers like this, yeah. or is this the only one I'm gonna have? Yeah. So it's just like, nah, I'm a, I'm, I'm about, to, I'm about to fuck with it. Like I'm gonna see what's mm. like what's really good. You know. I want to speak on that because there's a lot of artists out there that they don't believe in their music, bro. You know, and you gotta believe in yourself first. Come on. You got to. Yeah. You got to, and you almost have to be overconfident to start when you know because a lot of niggas. I, you know what? Like you just. You know what it is? You just can't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Like, mm. that's the main thing. It's always, I feel like motherfuckers just be too worried about what the next person thinking or, yeah. you know, oh, you know, I'm not going to drop it no more. Why you not going to drop it no more? I thought you thought it was tight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you fucking worried about what he say, she say. Like, you know, that shit ain't going to get you nowhere, but block your blessings, you know? Mm. For real. Yeah. That's true, man. I, I've run into so many artists that you hear it, you're like, bro, that's your heart. They're like, uh, and they make up all these excuses why why they won't drop it, you know. And and you you come in there with like fuck it. I, if I think it's hard, yeah. that's that shit going. That's out. all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Like man, you 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 if you can vibe out to your own shit, and say yeah. that shit hard, and yeah. some somebody else gonna sit there and listen and vibe vibe with it the same right. way. Like music yeah. like a library, homie. So yeah. it's like you know mm. you gotta drop it. Somebody gonna pick it up and hear it. Yeah. Was there any anything on the project that you felt like was real special to you where you kind of got too emotional? A wake up call. Wake up call. Yeah. yeah, I wrote that shit. I was down bad. I just got shot. So, mm. uh, I finished mm. up last year. I finished up damn near half damn. that album writing when I was down. Oh, so like probably like five out of five, five out of them ten songs that I did, I wrote laid up uh, recovering. Jeez. Yeah, you know, you you kind of spoke on it a little bit, but that that experience was like almost like. Mind like it shifted your mind, right? Like it, it uh, it caused you to look at things differently. It's just like a, I felt like it was just a bigger meaning to a uh, bigger me meaning behind of uh, what happened to me. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know, I was just you know stuck in a dark place during them times, and even before that, it just never really hit me until mm. you know that happened, and it was just like, damn, mm. you know. Was it a lot of self reflecting, or did you feel like you had a lot of family? That yeah. Was in your ear? Like, it was a lot of self reflection. Like, I, that, it's crazy that that had to happen to me to sit my ass down and really be like, all right. You know? <laughs> yeah, damn. You know, after all these years, like, motherfucker, God just, just looking and telling me, like, yeah, I've been trying to tell you a stupid ass, but you know, yeah. Yeah, that, it's funny because you. you I don't know how much you feel like you have an impact, but when when we see you in, in that, and it was like, oh, you got shot. Like we even felt like, what are you doing, bro? Like, yeah, chill, yeah, yeah, chill yeah, out, bro. Yeah, Come man, on, man. My motherfuckers was hot, man. <laughs> I was, I, I was like, bro, it, chill, you know, bro. But, uh, yeah, because we see how you are. We knew you growing up, you know. So it's 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 dope to see that you're actually doing the music. You know what I mean? It's just that's great. you know, even people reaching out to me, you know, like rooting me on after that. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of meant something too. Like, damn, you know, they don't want to see me fuck up, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like, um, and even the way that I'm going, it's like, I'm gonna let a lot of people down, you know, yep. if I yeah. keep going the route I'm going, so it's just like, you know, it's kind of like a love and hate relationship, so it's just like, with the streets, so, you know, you just gotta choose up, which yeah. one you want, what do you, what you wanna do with yourself, can't live both, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. So, so coming up, I mean, the project is out, you know what? 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 What's? What's the rest of the year looking like for you? Oh uh, shit! I gotta do a lot of videos for these for these songs now. <laughs> yeah, I got my show coming up next month yeah. in Hawaii. That shit gonna be crazy. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like some good problems yeah. to have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm excited. This, this is my yeah. uh, first show that I'm ever gonna headline. Ooh, yeah. So, you know. Uh, to make it Hawaii? Too. So I made it Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I made it Hawaii bro. Like, I'm an island, man. <laughs> 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 that 
<laughs> hey, show yeah. show what a real island boy doing, bro. Yeah, so I was like, man, if yeah. I'm going to do, if we I'm gonna do with a it. show, like, I'm going to make it big. I'm going to go to Hawaii and then Hell I'm going to yeah. and I'm gonna go celebrate after Hell that, yeah. you know? I'm going to go right, enjoy man. my time out there, yeah. you know? What's that day? What's I ain't never day? even been Hawaii, so, you know. What? Yeah. Bro. Getting out the city with it. I don't even know. Bro, you about to turn up. Yeah, man. Shout out to Hawaii, man. Y'all pop out July 30th. Come on. July 30th. July 30th. July 30th. July 30th. Pull up. Hawaii pull up. July 30th. That's dope. my three That's hard, man. Why you rocking with me too? So you know, I gotta go show some love real quick. Oh That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Be careful the traffic. No, <laughs> bro, shit worse than L.A., bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's an island, bro. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm about to go find out. I'm gonna go be a straight tourist. <laughs> That's dope, though, man. That's like, so you got the project out, man. You got a show coming up, um, videos. It sounds like going to be a busy, busy... I mean, because once the project job, that's when the real work happens. Right. You, know, you got to keep yeah. the momentum. Yeah. It's yeah. not like, drop the project and then boom. Like, mm. nah. Like, okay. They're like, no. You know, it's just you got to keep on pushing. Yeah. You got any shows in the hometown coming up? Uh, Yeah, I plan on it. Yeah. I plan on it. It's just going to be a little strategic with it. Yeah, I plan on it. Shoot, let us sure. know, man, because yeah. that's that's... That's one of those things we gotta come through, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one out here soon, sooner or later. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm excited though. I'm excited to see what uh what what the future has in store with me. It's just as long as I'm staying focused, doing what I'm supposed to do, it's gonna be all right. Hell mm -hmm. yeah, bro. We we looking at you as one of those one of those people that's really gonna push the culture forward, man. Right. And and basically pick up where your where your family left off at, man. Like Booyah tried to kick the door down and, and you know. Really put the world on notice that we here and now you coming through behind like yeah I'm about to widen that gap and let all, <laughs> yeah, let all my people in here you know what I'm saying so we just rooting for you bro I want to see you take yeah. shit to the top you know you can't you can't never forget about our people you know like uh you know you know a lot of uh or even our own people we do a lot of our music but don't don't forget to put on for ours at the same time you know mm -hmm. you know don't don't ever forget who who we really are yeah when when you look at the current uh. You know the the landscape of there's so many poly artists, bro. I feel like every day there's a new one, a new rapper, a new singer, and I love it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Hell yeah, yeah. I love it. So like, uh, when, when you look at this new generation of talent in the poly poly section, how do you feel about the 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 growth of our of our culture and the music side? Man, it's dope, man. You know, uh, you know, just to see our people really trying to do something with themselves, like that's what's up, man. Like, just keep it going. Yeah, keep yeah. it pushing, dude. Do what y'all do. Do what y'all feel that y'all feel y'all want to do. Like, you know, we're going to keep, we're trying to kick this door down for us, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, put on for ours, you know? I, li I like, I like that, man. I especially with how we're wrapping up, man, with this new generation coming in and the new generation taking on the, the street code and things like that. What's something that I feel like, you know, how you been, how you grew up and what you've been doing with music. What would you say to someone who's coming up, who wants to make a name for themselves, whether it be street, whether it be music, whether it be, you know, whatever, whatever it is, what would you say to that kid? Man, just be yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just be yourself at all times. Don't ever try to be somebody you're not. And mm -hmm. like I said earlier, fuck what anybody got to say. And, you know, you're going you gonna to do what you feel best for yourself. Mm -hmm. And nobody going to contradict how you move and what you do and how you do it. You just do it how you want to. Make sure that you're doing it right. And you feel like that shit's right with, you, with yourself and you'll be all right. That's that's game right there. Yeah. That's so it's funny because I was talking with somebody about this a few weeks ago. We were saying like social media could fuck your mind up as an artist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You could put some yeah. dope shit out there, right? Yeah. It may only get like five likes or ten likes, right? As an artist, if you're not built a certain way, you're gonna get fucked up off that. Right. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna question your abilities or whatever. But like I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, bro, you get a hundred picks, you get a hundred likes on the pick and you over here tripping, bro. If a hundred people in real life Pulled up to your show. Yeah. They paid to see you. A hundred people, that's, bro. Nigga, that's a that's, that's a, a fucking lot. win. Yeah, that's right. a win. But because only a hundred people liked your picture on Instagram, <laughs> nigga, you over here tripping. Yeah, yeah. Like so, like it's almost like we've given social media the the, the up on real life. The mm. real priority. Like and you and you know, see in real life, is, you gotta be you gotta be strong with yourself, you know, and and not not worry about them kind of things because that's you know that's gonna show your character. You are gonna let social media contradict how you move like mm -hmm. man, what what did that tell you about yourself as a person you know right and like all right so you so quick to break down over what you see over social media or something like so how you really gonna break down when some real life shit happened to you bro mm -hmm. like you know you can't let that get to you that shit just a facade you know what i'm saying that shit is not even there that shit you know don't let that shit fuck with your head mm -hmm. i mean you, you kind of already head that direction but i kind of wanted to ask you like 
as as you as a man, how do you deal with adversity? Like when you go through those those dark moments in your life, those storms. I'm saying, like, what's your mindset that helps you get to the other side? I mean, nowadays, like before, it was bad. You know, um, I really have no way to cope with things uh, before music. Mm. Um, mm. I was going to the streets during the times. I, you know, I was going through so much shit during what in my life. So anything that was dark, I went kind of dark, you know? Mm. But now, you know, it's just moving forward and this music is really, and I ain't gonna lie, this music global kind of saved my life. Mm. So um, that's what keeping me pushing. Everybody that's rocking with me is that's keeping right. me pushing. Um, yeah, this, this is just the music, that's where I'm going with it. You know, I, I didn't have no uh, shoulder to lean on, on, you know, when I was in a dark place. Uh, and it's funny that you don't realize it until you're in your position you're in now that you was really in a dark place, you know? Yeah, That's yeah. kind of crazy, you yeah, feel me? It yeah, it is. During, during them times, you just thinking that you was just, you know, doing your thing and you, you got to figure it out, but you don't. You you really stuck in, 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 in a mindset. Mm. But uh, yeah, just this music. music this music is helping me out a lot. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely a gift, man. Like um, I read, I read somewhere that you know, the gifts that we've been given in life, you know, are from God, and we show our appreciation to Him through how we use those gifts. Mm. You know, what I'm saying some people have been blessed with gifts, but whether it's lack of confidence or laziness, they don't maximize the gift that they've been given. <laughs> yeah. And when I look at an artist like you, man. You you've hit a point in your life where the flip the switches flip. You're like, mm. hey, I got this gift. Yeah. I'm about to run with it. I'm about to take this shit to the top. Man. Yeah, and uh, you know, as far as like the working part, like sometimes I don't even feel like I'm working. If you get what I mean, mm. it's just like I enjoy doing this shit so much. Like, yeah. uh, to where it doesn't feel like I'm working. I'm having hella fun, mm. and uh, mm. that's the you know like that's the golden part about it. It's just like damn, you know, I'm really having fun with this shit, and uh, I could probably make some make something happen with it. Yeah. So it's like um. You just gotta find what you love, what you what you love to do, and what, what what's gonna help you. That's, that's beautiful, man. To, to to come to that realization in your life, after all that you've been through, man, all the ups and downs. You know what really? I'm saying? To to see to see a real one winning right now. I mm -hmm. think that's why we and so many people are a big fan of you because we've we've seen the 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 ups and downs. Oh man, you know man, I appreciate yeah, man. that, man. Appreciate y'all for real, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's dope. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just you just trust the process. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, you know, even when I first started, I just like, you know, people would ask me, is this really what you want to do? And I'm just like, man, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to take it and run with it and see what happens with right, this shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, is, <laughs> you either going to go up or go down with it. What, yeah. I, what I got to lose, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck? Like, you know, if I lose, I lose. It is hey. what it is, you know? Hey. Yeah, shit. That's, that's, such a, that's such a gem. And it's, bro, when you when you taking so many losses, especially them big losses, mm. When you do music, you're like, shit, nigga, I didn't took so many losses. What what do I have to lose at this point? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't see the worst of days, had the lowest of lows. Whatever, what, like, you, and especially you, when you built like that, you could outlast any storm, any low. Right. You know yeah, and it's saying? just like, uh, right, you know, like for anybody that's, uh, you know, really living this, really in that, really living that gang life, really about it. Like, if you really, uh, like what I, the energy that I'm putting into my music now is what I was putting into game banging. You know what I mean? So mm. it's just like I put all my energy into that's the streets. Big. Like uh, that was my that's what that's what my life was gonna be. So it's mm -hmm. just like I I dedicated my life my 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 hundred percent mindset to yeah. to going that route. So like now I'm focusing my energy and putting that energy and taking that and running and putting it into something else like music. And it's like, damn, if I if I put in my all into this shit, then I can make the same shit happen for me in this music, same shit that happened for me in the streets. Right. So it's just like, you know, you got to know where to put your energy at, but people got to find it on their own. Like, ain't ain't, ain't no motherf any motherfucker could watch this podcast and just, you know, one year out the other, because mm -hmm. they, they got to live it. They yeah. got to, they got to, you know, God got to talk to them. Somebody got to sit their ass down real quick mm -hmm. and holler at them, you know? So, Yeah. That's dope, man. To be to be that strong will to be able to just flip the switch like that, man. I put I put the effort into this. I see this is gonna get me somewhere else. So yeah. just to be like, man, I'm about to put my all and everything, my whole person into yeah. this avenue. That's hard. Yeah, that's, that's man. Dope. Good looking out, bro. You know, it, it it wasn't easy at first. Like you know, it's kind of like uh, battling. You know, 
just you know, once you come from a life that that's, that that you've always known, you know, it's not easy trying to transition and to put in your you know putting your efforts into to, into something else, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know that's just crazy. That's just crazy for real. Just thinking back, you know, I'd be thinking back. I, I'm always reminiscing, bro. Like always looking around, you know, like and just thinking, like, damn. Can't believe I was really stuck like that. You feel me? Yeah. That shit, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah. damn, <laughs> like, you know, I was just damn near ready to give up. Like, fuck, you know, like, well, you know, it's just life working. Uh, you know, life work crazy. Right. We well, see God moving through you, man. It, it's the funny thing we I like to break down is they say YOLO, you only live once, but that's a, I feel like you you can live a thousand times. You only die once. Yeah. You know what I mean? You only die once, and I feel like you're living what your true calling right now man so we, we just appreciate you for coming through and, and blessing us with your presence because you know yeah. a lot of things could have uh, prevented this from having this meet up and god said no nah, we're gonna have this so at, at yeah. the end of the day yeah. bro you're doing what you're doing and we just appreciate you for blessing us with your presence bro hey, hey yeah. man it's yeah. all love man i love hey, what y'all yeah. doing man i appreciate y'all for having me on here and uh yeah. you know it's always a pleasure bro it's always so, a pleasure you got some concerts coming up. You got some events coming up. But you got anything coming up as far as music that you? That you get any, I know you, this is fresh, but you know sometimes that's something you hold on to. And be like, all right, we gonna have something next coming up. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, like I got a couple singles that. I, okay. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, look up. Like, uh, I just didn't drop this and have no backup plan. Right, like, right, yeah, right, right. now I was just, you know, I'm about to drop some singles <laughs> yeah. coming following this. Uh huh. Uh, I got some EPs that I'm working with some some producers, some you know big time producers that are coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I got a lot. I got a lot. This summer gonna be busy for me. Right. It's gonna be a busy. This is gonna be a busy ass summer for me. So it's like uh, only right. Don't worry. Yeah. It's only it's right. Like man. Like a D boy summer to yeah. me. Yeah. Right? It sounds like, it sounds <laughs> yeah. like problems we like yeah. to have nowadays. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Small mafia, man. Come you on. Know what I'm saying? Get that. Go That's get all that. of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Like, 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 bro said, we appreciate you for pulling up, man, and and, and sitting down, sharing a little bit about who you are and with the music, man. We we rooting for you big time, man. Yeah. We want to see you take all that right. shit to the top, man. Mm -hmm. and, I appreciate y'all for that, yeah. man. Straight keep, like that. Keep doing it, man. Well, uh, shit, Island Mogul episode, Island Mogul podcast. We all, <laughs> we all win. win. We all we win. We all win, baby. We all win. We want to see everybody yeah. win. Yeah. So you doing your shit, keep doing your shit, man. Little, real quick, though, we got to shout out our brother Solomon, man. We all yeah. put the camera. Show our brother Solomon, Solomon for taking in care there. of us, man. Hey. Taking care of the background yeah. for us, man. <laughs> hey, 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 none of this shit would be possible without Solomon. Yeah, He's man. the man behind the camera making all this shit work. So shout out yeah. to Solomon. Hey, Usain Co, send his man some gear, man. Yeah. He, he, he needs some merch. So, yeah, shout know. out to Usain Co for shout sponsoring. Shout out to Usain Co, man. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. appreciate you for blessing us with the uh, the stuff. And uh, if you if you guys are, you know, looking forward to more podcasts coming up, man, shoot us some things. Yeah. Put a comment down below, see what y'all like from this uh, episode. And uh, like I said, we'll see uh, D-Boy at the top, man. It's yeah. up from here, man. Appreciate you. We'll see y'all on the next episode. We out of here. Yes, I'm sir. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs>